Hello and welcome to part 2 of my F1 22 manager career mode. Here today for part 2 for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix where we are managing Mercedes coming off the back of a pretty decent Bahrain but of course in real life Mercedes do too, do too well round here. In real life of course Lewis getting knocked out in Q1 but George managing to get a fairly decent result out of it so hopefully in the game we can do the same but qualifying first as I mentioned in the last video I'm skipping practice because I'm not very good at it so let's go to the start of qualifying coming into qualifying and Lewis starts his first run stuck behind his former teammate Valtteri Bottas he just doesn't seem to be able to get clear lapping in qualifying um, so far in his career mode getting blocked by Verstappen in Bahrain but he's going to come around the final corner though hopefully he can get out of Q1 on the game unlike real life up to the line and it's P6 and now George rounds the final corner and up to the line where does he put himself he stays in the bottom five no 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 that is no that is not good at all fresh tyres then for George and then fresh for Lewis as well. George needs to find a lap. He must have been blocked on his lap. I only caught the end, the end of his lap. So, so it must have gone on. But we've sent him out very early to make sure he does get a lap in. He is improving, unlike Lewis. He's up in the first sector, but down in that middle sector. You're not really too worried about Lewis because he is in that kind of safe. As there's a yellow flag but Lewis crosses the line and moves up into P3 and there's a yellow flag here for Mick Schumacher he's binned it and then the pretty much the exact same thing he did last year in Saudi Arabia but now Sebastian Vettel up to the line can he get out of Q1 no he can't Strolls out, Latifi's out, it's only Magnussen that can change the result and he does and he knocks out his teammate as you see here as half a front wing doing exactly what he did in real life last season in the race same corner as well but now we come into Q2 and Lewis has got a great toe there off the Red Bull warming up his tyres and up to the final corner he goes Rounds the final corner and now gunning it for the line as he comes up to the line now crosses it and he puts himself third faster but behind Bottas so does that mean there's more time on the table? George though getting another good toe and he's going fastest in the middle sector purple and he may just have got a little toe as well off the Red Bull into the final corner comes George now though what a lap this could be it's a shame it's only Q2 up to the line he comes now though he crosses it and it's P2 for George and you can see his middle set has already been beaten but he's racing the Red Bull into the first corner and that worked very good so back into the pits they go both of them and we're going to give them another fresh set of tyres for the second run it is going to mean if we do get through to Q2 that there's only going to be one fresh set as this is Lando on his final run making a mistake and going sideways out, out of turn 2 as here we go now at the end of Q2 Hamilton is in the bottom 5 again he needs to find a good lap here he is up on his sector times and up to the line he comes now and he's safe he's up into P6 as you can see though Ricardo's out Norris is out Magnussen's out Sonoda's out and so is Joe both McLaren's full at the second hurdle there now into the important part of qualifying where Lewis is being held up by the Red Bull no difference there in qualifying looks like it might become a rich rule or something as out of the final corner he comes now 
and there's, there's a Ferrari getting a very healthy toe off of him heading down now he comes across the line and it's only good enough for P6 every time I say this he's in P6 can George improve though it's only him and Gasly to set a lap time so far in this session Perez is had a bit of a he's still going as well up to the line comes George and it's good enough for P4 is now back into the pits and we've got one fresh set of tyres so that first run was pretty much on used tyres and out around the final corner comes Lewis Hamilton where can he put his Mercedes currently P9 come on Lewis you can get a good result out of this and he moves up into P4 and now George runs the final corner we send these two out early so they may be vulnerable but anyway they can get their laps in up to the line and George stays fifth but here's the battle for Paul Max is currently on pole Sainz can only manage P2 it's only Leclerc who can change the outcome and it's pole position for Charles Leclerc for the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix what a race we have in store for us then but here is the strategy we're gonna go medium hard for both of them because not really any other strategy around here here we are folks we're back for another day of scintillating f1 action it's race day we saw a reasonable push from mercedes in qualifying and they'll have plenty of opportunities here to achieve a great result this weekend red bull displayed real promise during qualifying but will they fulfill that potential by the time they reach the checkered flag? We're under clear skies here tonight, certainly to the team's relief. Now they can focus their strategy on pushing their cars as much as they can. Well, this is certainly going to be a challenging but no doubt exciting race here in Jeddah. We have clear weather tonight as we look at the drivers in their grid positions. Let's look at Mercedes for a moment. A top 10 position today, but will they be able to capitalise on it? We've got the other Mercedes here. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. Will their hard work pay off today? We're now moments away from this. The Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. And it's lights out. And away we go! So we're racing here in Saudi Arabia and it's like it's a good start by Charles Leclerc. Like he's pressuring on the inside though. Bottas and Paris going well to be and it's like Lewis has just got his nose in there. In the background, Bottas are jumping Paris at the start. And now it's like Lewis is gonna try side by side, but he can't. George has gone backwards though. As Hamilton has and jump jump Perez. That's good there. As up front is the Claire with Verstappen still ahead. Is Max gonna have a go down into this banked hairpin? No, he's not. But here comes Max. He's coming up the Claire. He wants his first win of the season. But now as Sergio Perez sends it down the inside of Lewis, this isn't good. Can he hold on? No, he can't. Now Perez can have a look at Bottas. I don't know what it is with Bottas, but he always seems to be there so far this season. As is, is he going to have a look? As Lewis backed off loads there. I don't know, I'm not sure what he's trying to do there, but... We've got, he's kind of taking this out of the battle. I don't know what he's done there. But here comes Checo Perez now. He's on the back of Perez and he's gonna absolutely blitz the Alfa Romeo is he but Bottas is putting up a fight and Bottas holds the inside line but Perez tries to hold it around the outside that then turns into the inside they're side by side now is Perez ahead I think he is just no he's not he has to back out and live for another day and this has allowed Lewis to goes back up a little bit but well, I don't know what he's doing he's got no pace 
so I think we may need to think about him letting George have a go and try and catch him and that is pretty much what we are going to do but I thought about it and I decided that to keep George behind because Lewis is the number one driver and of course we want to keep him happy and so now George you can see it on the back of Lewis and George is pretty much pushing Lewis around this track and he just doesn't seem to have the pace Lewis as Perez has overtaken Bottas there and we are going to tell let George fight his teammate as well and he does overtake Lewis there and now let's see what George can do can he get after Bottas we're going to tell Lewis to stay behind him and let's see what George can do I think that's our best bet so there is yellow flag we can see here this is the two McLarens followed by Yuki Sonoda now going into Yuki's locked up and in the back of the McLaren of Lando Norris who I think is also clipped there his teammate now this is Gasly and there's Alonso Alonso's locked up and goes straight on there as well it's all happening on this lap in the Grand Prix. And now Sonoda trying to limp back to the pits. As Hamilton here is still right behind George. So they appear just to be matching each other's pace, which really isn't helpful. As we try and push out the Bottas, he's still clinging on then to Perez. So what do we do now? I decided just to leave them. So as we pick George now on lap 20, go on to the hards like we planned and get these tyres to the end after Grand Prix. So 30 laps. And hopefully we're going to also try and keep Lewis out there for a bit longer. So I'm hoping that this may keep them apart. So we've got Lewis here, here we are going to try and go longer as I mentioned earlier and we're also going to tell George to look after these tyres just so they definitely make it to the end of the Grand Prix. So this is Lewis now, still going strong on those tyres obviously one lap later and we just need to extend this stint. He's normally quite good at keeping tyres alive as this is Joe locking up and everyone's locking up there and don't know what he's doing there, he's just turned back towards the barrier but here on lap 24 we are going to box Lewis for his hard tyres and let's see where he comes out relatively to George I'm hoping that there is a gap and George comes out of the pits and he's going to come out ahead of Lewis and there's not really a gap there is there we haven't really achieved anything there by trying to keep Lewis out that little bit longer because now we've just put ourselves in an issue where Lewis got the fresher tyres and he's behind George so we've kind of made things worse here and as we expected Lewis got the back of George so we are going to tell George to pull out the way because I think that's the most logical thing to do as free to as Lewis because Lewis has got the fresher tyres so it makes sense to on lap 25 and let's just see what happens but they're, ma but they're matching each other's lap time and pace so we're not really helping ourselves here so we are going to skip on quite a lot and see lap 29, 30 at front it just seems to be Science now he's actually got his way through and now we were really conservative with George we are going to tell him to push a bit more now with just five laps of going as, as you can see here they're still relatively staring at each other's gearbox Bottas, Bottas has got some incredible pace on the, in his Alfa Romeo and he's made us look stupid here as this is Magnussen locking up and going wide everyone's locking up and going wide at that hairpin it's all over. 
the Ferrari to Ferrari. Well, win then, second of the season for Charles Leclerc. Back to back wins in the career mode. Fair play to him. Great win. Dominant. He was a period where he was behind his teammate, but he's really overtaking him. And this is them battling to the line. And it's a Ferrari 1 2. So he's just ahead of the staff, and Perez is going to come in for P4 after his interesting battle with Bottas. Bottas, though, is going to come in for a pretty, pretty good and lonely P5. And. Then it's going to be our two boys fighting over P6 the entire race, which we didn't allow them to do. So there may be some fireworks if this was real. But it is going to be Hamilton ahead of George, ahead of a lap down Lando Norris, I think that is. We need to improve. This so isn't acceptable. We need to improve by the time we go down under to Australia. Nice work, Lewis. No big worries here for Mercedes. Their driver did fairly well today. There's no doubt that Mercedes have a lot of potential. Now they need to figure out how to make it work for them. Yes, I imagine they'll roll up their sleeves now and make sure their next performance goes even better. That's right, and they finish the race weekend in third place in the constructor standings. And for the next round, Formula One is heading down under. Exciting times ahead in Australia on the shores of the Albert Park Lake. So that's been the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix for this season then. Leclerc winning from pole and sites bringing home a 1-2 for Ferrari as I mentioned earlier Lewis and George P6 and P7 that was a bit of a frustrating race we didn't really do anything still Leclerc maximum points in the championship and annoyingly Bottas splits Lewis and George which I think we need to sort out after the next race hopefully in Australia but as we improve some of the stats now for our drivers we need to possibly start giving Nick De Vries some practice sessions but we'll see how that turns out we've manufactured some more parts for the car and hopefully they will help us this is for the suspension some spare parts but we head into Australia next as I mentioned in the last one I think I'm gonna do this in the background to save time on these videos so they're not half an hour long or something but that's been this video I hope you enjoyed it bit of a dull one for the second episode but anyway I'll see you next time for the Australian Grand Prix